You know, sometimes we look at Paul as a superhero in the Bible, that he uh, was able to work through everything and just keep on going. But you know, he was human like we are. I'm sure he had discouragements. I'm sure he had times when he needed encouragement. Don't you? I know I do. Let's talk about it in your morning cup of inspiration. If we go back to Acts, the 16th, 17th chapters, and listen to Paul's journey, listen to what happens. In Philippi, he was flogged. So then he went to Thessalonica, and he was run out of town with his tail between his legs. Then he went to Athens, and very few people responded to his message, so he moved on again to Corinth. Now we get into the 18th chapter of and he's in Corinth, and he just had to get a job making tents. And he tried to evangelize, but for the most part, was rejected. Here's where God stepped up to encourage him. Listen to what he says in Acts 18, 9 and 10. It says, Now the Lord spoke to Paul in the night by a vision. He told him, Do not be afraid, but speak, and do not keep silent, for I'm with you. No one will attack you or hurt you, for I have many people in this city. That was the encouragement that Paul needed. He hadn't seen any results in Corinth, but God let him know, they're there. There's people I want to minister to, and I want to do it through you. And so he said, don't be afraid, speak and don't keep silent. Paul obeyed, he had many people. He stayed a year and a half in Corinth, developing and growing the church and ministering to them. So where are you today? Are you discouraged? Do you feel like Paul, that you've been run out of town, that your life is not being effective, that your calling seems to be going nowhere? Well, I wanna encourage you just like God did for Paul to don't give up, don't be afraid, speak up when you need to, don't be silent, share his word to those you come in contact with. God will be there to help you. God will be there to encourage you. God will be there to see that you accomplish what he wants to accomplish through your life today. So can I encourage you with those words? Let's go for it today. Let's do all we can and not look at the circumstances, for God's got our back. Hey, God bless. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration, and we'll see you next time.